Hello brothers and sisters, it's so great to be with you here this evening. I have been wanting to do this video for quite a while, so I'm so pleased uh, that you're able to come into space with me. Tonight I'm wanting to talk about the new sexuality on planet Earth and to get to that space we really need to sort of unearth all the old baggage, all the old garbage that's being come up that's coming up uh, for us to transmute and um, to really for us to get to that heart center. So for those of you who don't know my name is Abigail, I am a psychosexual therapist and I'm also a womb mystic so I like to combine the two so I like to bring in my training from a psychotherapy background but also I do a lot of channeling which um, I just integrate the two. So let's get started. So we're going to be talking about intentional integrity with your orgasmic release. And we're also going to be talking about how to um, hold safe energetic space with your lovemaking. So that's really exciting. So a bit of background, really. Um, like most people on this planet, I have also uh, suffered a sexual trauma, but I don't really want to use this uh, video in this space to go into too much detail about that. But you could say that trauma invited me onto this path of sacred sexuality. And I think uh, for many of us that that really touches us on a deeper level. And um, trauma basically um, has informed a lot of the 3D programming and um, and it's basically enslaved our um, sacred sexual energy, which is basically our life force. So if we look back through um, our history, which is basically based on religion, or shall we say, let's have a look at religion. We know that re religious beliefs and re religious doctrines always uh, prevent the indul on the indulgence of uh, sexual energy it's demonized it's been twisted it's been uh you know all, all the darkness is there and that has basically enslaved our planet so what i learned over the last um three or four years i have been working uh, with some plant teachers and they really shared um, a lot of information helped me to access that in the library that we all have within and it's my mission to really share that information and to bring it out into the open. And uh, yeah, so that's that's why I'm here, really. That's why I'm in this forum using video uh, to, to share this. So we really appreciate you and thank you so much uh, for joining me this evening. So what began for me was, yeah, about three or four years ago, I was in a position where I had taken my childhood um, abuser to court and he was found uh, not guilty and that was through lack of evidence and um, now bearing in mind I have all my psychotherapy training nothing could have prepared me for that verdict because it had taken a very long time for me to make that choice so what began to happen after um, the not guilty verdict there was like a, an unraveling really there was an unraveling of all the untruths and all like illusion um, came about and so that began not only um, a psychotherapeutic healing which I'd already been on not only spiritual healing which had already been my journey but I needed something deeper so if if you have suffered some sort of trauma you you can probably relate that it really trauma enables you to reach inside of you and pull out the darkness that isn't even yours and it's the thing many of us are carrying sexual trauma that's not ours that it's societal that it's passed on um through generations and we don't want this as a legacy, brothers and sisters. This is not our legacy to pass on to our children. So let's start a, with a um, revocation. I would like to begin uh, doing the next bit of the video on that with you. So um, 
one year ago after my journey with plant medicines i had what you could say a big download of information and ayahuasca um, shared with me there was a revocation which i'm going to read to you now so i would like you to just um be in space with me right now just really you know connect and I'm just going to read it to you because it's not something I actually uh, memorize at all. But you will see the power of it. So brothers and sisters, just really invite you to just close your eyes, just to go within. And we're going to use your sovereign power as a sexual being to revoke any contracts that you've made unconsciously or anything that you've inherited. I banish all beings, entities, parasites and attachments from my mind, my body and my soul who have inserted themselves against my will in my past, my present and my future selves. I revoke all bindings, contracts, or agreements that may tie me or any of my energetic bodies to those who wish to feed from my force. With the source power within me, I banish all astral controllers and vampiric feeders from interacting, communicating, or feeding from me in this incarnation and other multidimensional quantum lives of me. I call on my soul in all time streams to permanently expel such visible and non-visible contracts with these parasites. I revoke all said beings who have infected with or without my knowledge from my blood and ancestral land lines. I demand instant remedy and return of power stolen from past, present and future lives for myself. And my bloodlines. I'm going to do it one more time, brothers and sisters. I banish all beings, entities, parasites, and attachments from my mind, my body, and my soul who have inserted themselves against my will in my past, present, and future selves. I revoke all bindings, contracts or agreements that may tie me or any of my energetic bodies to those who wish to feed on my force. With the source power within me, I banish all astral controllers and vampiric feeders from interacting, communicating or feeding from me in this incarnation and other multidimensional quantum lives of me. I call on my soul in all time streams to permanently expel such visible and non-visible contracts with these parasites. I revoke all said beings who have infected with or without my knowledge from my blood and my ancestral lines. I demand instant remedy and return of power stolen from past, present and future lives for myself and for my bloodlines. So brothers and sisters, I'd really love to hear how that has worked for you, how that feels, do let me know. And you can listen to this back at any time. I'm gonna be keeping it uh, on my Facebook, Facebook wall, okay. So what I'd like to do now is talk about using a safe space when we're actually making love because there's a lot of confusion and a lot of um, almost shaming in the spiritual communities relating uh, to the usage of our sexual energy. And I have uh, brothers and sisters writing to me saying, you know, how unworthy that they feel to make love to their husbands and their wives, you know, to their partners because they don't feel that they're good enough. Can you imagine, brothers and sisters, that we are in these times of ascension 
and we are still shaming people for not being of a certain doctrine because believe you me what i have downloaded is that some of the tantric communities are very much based in 3d fear mindset now i've got some brothers and sisters who i'm very close to and they practice uh, Tantra as a lifestyle, and they're so beautiful, and they're so in line, so in tune with the heart, so full of integrity, and this message really isn't about them, but it's about those people who are coming through the this, this spiritual community and bashing other brothers and sisters as if they don't make love in a Tantric way that making love is wrong no 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 that is not the way whatsoever um, i just really wanted to um, have that message out there brothers and sisters because it's all a bit messed up you know it's it's all an indoctrination it's it's all a ploy to shame us to make us feel unworthy and it's just really not the case and it breaks my heart, really breaks my heart that there, there are such loving people who are afraid to make love to their partners in case they're doing it wrong. <sighs> Just really, you know, want to like take that away, really want to take that away, really want to like undo that with you tonight, brothers and sisters. If that's, that's something that uh, you can relate to, really just want to put that to one side, really undo that because it's not true at all. It's not my truth. And if you don't want it to be your truth, it's not your truth as well. So, you know, um, Tantra community is falling. And if, if it hasn't fallen already, I know that they're still um, still holding on. And I'm not talking about those, like I said, uh, brothers and sisters who are really holding tantric uh, ways of being in the heart. So I really commend them and I thank them actually for um being the way and the light of, of love because we are really needing true, authentic, heart-centered um, lovemaking at, at the very core of our beings. And the reason that it's all gone a bit pear-shaped is because our sexual energy, if it's not used correctly, um, it's being harvested. Now, I don't want to I don't want to say this and cause alarm because that's certainly not my intention for this video. But we do have a responsibility, brothers and sisters, to be in alignment with our sexual energy and how we're using it. And not to just be um, using our orgasm and releasing it without any intention behind it. So if I'm perhaps a bit more clearer on that. So what we're wanting to do is when we're making love, it can either be with a partner or through uh, solo pleasure, that we're really wanting to align and protect ourselves. And we do that by connecting, by sending light into our energetic field, and we're protecting it so that there are, there are no eavesdroppers, there's no voyeurs, there's no hangers on, there's, there's nothing that's going to shake you um, energetically and nobody is going to steal that very beautiful and pure um, ecstatic energy that you hold within you because your orgasmic energy is here not only for your pleasure but it's here to create heaven on earth and so if we can become in alignment with that and just remember, come back to ourselves that we are very special. We are here on very special times of this planet and that our orgasmic energy is the most beautiful, the most powerful force in this world. And that is why churches, and that's why religion has really abused it on our behalf. That's why society has had such a sickness when it comes to our sexual energy. So back to that space of lovemaking, just how you do when you're meditating brothers and sisters or how you're perhaps holding circle. 
you're actually um, protecting your energetic space. So when you're lovemaking uh, with a partner or through solar play, we're wanting to remember to expand that protection into our energetic space. Now, it's up to you how you use your orgasmic energy. You can. You, the thing is that our sexual energy is used for both pleasure and play, but also for healing. It's for bonding. It's for so much. And this heaven on earth template is only going to come to be when we remember our sexual innocence. So, of course, it's entirely in your hands, brothers and sisters, how you want to use this very beautiful and sacred energy, because that's what it is. And when it comes to orgasmic release, um, and I do this with my partner, is that we hold a, a joint, we decide um, if it's possible. Uh, I'm not saying we're perfect, sometimes we forget, is that holding an intentional frequency behind the orgasm and we, we can use that for manifesting we can use that for healing we can send that to Gaia we can send that right back to uh, the mother to the father we can send it anywhere and I would really urge you to try and tune in and and remember to do that because if you are orgasming and releasing it without any intention, then it just kind of goes into the etheric plane. And as with any energy, it can be used um, or manipulated. So really what we're wanting to do is for you in your sovereignty, in your sexual sovereignty, you have the power to choose where it goes um, what it's used for. So it's really just, you know, a reminder of doing that. So maybe you want to manifest, maybe you want to heal, or sometimes you just might want to send it uh, to the planet. Um, there are so many ways that you can use that energy for, but it's, what I would say is that it's sort of our aligned action with, with our integrity with our hearts that if we can remember that when we are orgasming is to use it uh, with good intentions um i have been asked um, what it is that i actually saw um when i um, worked with the plant medicines and um and i'm pretty sure i've said in the video already i'm not sharing this to provoke fear but it is information and it isn't being uh, shared at the moment um and so i really feel that that is my duty to share that so that, that you understand so our sexual energy um if it's not directed with with loving intention um, it is uh, being fed on and I'm not saying that that's the case for um, you know 100% of our um, unions but when our unions come from the heart it's usually protected anyway um, but we have a lot in our society about you know porn addictions and having um, sex when it's not from the heart and um and it's causing you know that distortion what the feeders look like they look they look like parasites i'm not going to lie to you that this is um why it's so imperative um that that we keep our energetic field um safe that we keep it protected and that we keep it aligned brothers and sisters okay all right, so I feel like that's enough for this evening. And I just wanted to thank you for letting me share that bit of information with you. I'm sure I've probably forgotten something, but I will come back um, on another evening to talk about that. If you've got any questions, I'm very happy to, to answer that uh, in the, the comment section. And I hope that, that you found um, some use in this video. And I look forward to connecting with you soon. Bye, brothers and sisters.